waking up at 3 30 a.m every day for two weeks consecutively is something that i think is not normal but i'm enjoying it if you have been waking up every day 3 30 consecutively for many days <laughs> this video is for you and um, i'm gonna be sharing with you awesome stops that happen at that time of the morning and how it has helped me so far and what it's currently doing to my body spirit and soul in this video coming up hi guys welcome back to my channel if it's your first time you're very much welcome on this channel i deal with spirituality faith and business but today I really don't want this to take the normal shape of my video I really want to share something that I found of recent and I know if shared there might be a couple of people who are currently having the same issue should I call it an issue the same experience just like I am currently having so if you have been following my channel you would realize that a couple of months ago I uploaded a video 3 to 5 a.m. if you wake up 3 to 5 a.m do this if you haven't seen that video i will link it somewhere here or check the link in the description you would see that video now after uploading that video <laughs> like i let evan open because a whole lot of people have given me comment as to how this video has blessed them and i get daily dms about how they have been using this thing and how it has been working for them now that's not the point that's not what i am here for what i'm here is i have been doing this practice of waking up at three between the hours of three to five a.m sometimes i wake up three sometimes four sometimes it depends on what time i'm being woken up but it has to be between the hours of three to five somewhere in between sometimes it's three o'clock but i realized that recently that i have been waking up at 3 30 3 30 every morning and this has been on for like two weeks consecutively 3 30 and it's been on for two weeks non-stop like monday you wake up 3 30 tuesday 3 30 wednesday 3 so it's been like that then i realized that there is a routine that happens at that time when you wake up at that time there is a routine that usually comes up and there is something that i discovered about my life about myself that i want to share and i don't know if someone else is experiencing that and one of the things that happen when i wake up at that time is if i have something in my head earlier that i have been praying for or that i've been thinking about probably it's just something that i am just thinking about not something too serious just thinking about it and um, that time when i wake up the ideas pops onto my head again and i begin to get directions if it is what god really wants me to do i begin to get ideas about it i begin to um, get how to do it i begin to get clear instructions on how to do it yes this has been happening but what is different here now is let me not just think about something the moment i think about it before bedtime for instance i will wake up the next morning getting direction as to either how to achieve that thing or if that thing is a good idea or bad idea it just begins to come and you begin to have a clear direction as to how to go about it if it's an idea if it's a business how to go about it and this has been working for me i don't know if any other person is experiencing the same thing now another thing that happens at that time that's unusual is i realize that i become extremely powerful at that time so because i realized there is so much power within me at that time i am careful what to say so instead i just begin to pray concerning some stuffs that are disturbing me i begin to pray and when i begin to pray concerning those things i realize that answers come speedily no wonder in the Bible, when we talk about Paul and Silas, all of the miracles they received happened at midnight. When the Holy Ghost came down, happened at midnight. Even the creation started at midnight. So if you are still not plunging into you waking up at three, between the hours of three to five, you don't know what you're missing. And I've gotten a lot of comments as well, people telling me that uh, 
they wake up and nothing is happening. The truth is, keep doing it. A lot of people are testifying about it. Just keep doing it. I don't want to be, I don't want to over prepare for this thing. That's why I just decided, let it take a vlog um, format. No, nothing serious. I just want to pass out this information for you all there to see. Another thing I realized about that time 3.30 is in the book of Revelation. Revelation chapter 4 from verse 1. It says, come up and I will show you things that are yet to happen. This is exactly what is happening. So sometimes at that time, I begin to see things. You begin to see things that are going to happen concerning someone. In fact, sometimes ago, I realized that, I think it's about two weeks now, when it all started, I saw a revelation of a lady I have never met, a lady I have never seen. And just some days ago, the lady gave me a call on Instagram. You know, another beautiful thing that happens to me at that 3.30 is I realized that the gift of wisdom is getting better. The gift of wisdom has been one of the gifts that God has given me because it has helped me to relate with older people as friends. It has helped me to relate with younger people as friends. And the truth is, I don't have my mates as friends. Like, they are either older or younger. And it's been working for me because... I enjoy so much of this gift of wisdom. So I realize that it's getting better. When you advise someone based on the wisdom of God embedded upon you, these people come back thanking you, you know? So I, I, I really don't know. I It's gradually making me becoming a counselor, but I don't see that as something I want to consider. But I, I, I discovered that the gift of wisdom given to me is getting better. Now another gift that is getting better at that time is the discernment of spirit. That gift, discernment of spirit. I think I'm just going to make a whole video talking about the discernment of spirit and to let you guys know how far I have come with that gift is really helping. When people are talking, I just know where they are coming from. I know where they're going. I know what they mean with the help of God. Now, that gift of discernment is not based on wisdom. It's not based on knowledge. It's not based on what you know. But it's based on revelation, divine revelation from the Holy Spirit. So I realized that that gift also is getting better. Another thing that is getting better at my 3.30 a.m. routine is I realized that my ability to teach is also getting better. Another thing I realized that time is your purpose becomes clearer. If you have been wondering, if you have been going around, you really don't know what to do, you are as confused as I used to be. You are going to get a clearer purpose this time at 3.30 a.m. Because a particular routine will keep coming to you, take this direction, go this way. And you begin to get daily guidance on what to do and what not to do. So your purpose in life becomes clearer at 3 30 a.m now please don't give me comments in the comment and ask me if you can set alarm at 3 30. the truth is i did not set alarm i didn't set any alarm i just get woken up at that exact time 3 30. i think once or twice i've been woken up at 3 29. but however when you get up before you struggle to get out of bed it's about 3 30 and the way and manner you just get into the routine every day, I still can't explain. But the truth is, if it's not happening to you yet, give it time. Continue. Make it a practice. Make it a habit. It will definitely, definitely come. I get a lot of comments, but I've been waking up at that time. Nothing is happening. It's because you're anxious about it. Please leave anxiety out. Just let God have his way and you would realize that it will flow. It will just flow. You can see I'm not really prepared for this video, but I want to share with you so that it's not a kind of prepared talk. It's not a kind of, it's, an, it's, a, it's a spontaneous one. It's something that just comes spontaneously and I just need to share it. Now, this is where it gets beautiful. If you are a minister of the word, if you are a minister or a teacher in the household of faith, at this time, you can use that time to pray for a forthcoming program. Like, for instance, if you, if it's a Saturday night, for instance, you wake up at 3.30 a.m., it's time to pray for the Sunday service. 
all right if it's gonna be a vigil the next day it's time to pray about the vigil. if it's gonna be a program a church program by the next day it's time to pray for that program and you would see how you're being empowered as well to take charge of that program you see how god is gonna use you to take part in that program and you will minister powerfully so i want to believe this time great men of god don't joke with it but i just realized that i'm beginning to plunge into that realm so please take things seriously if you wake up at the exact this exact time the heavens are powerfully present the heavens are powerfully present i can say it over and over again the heavens are powerfully present at 3 30 a.m and i am sure this time is the best time of them all like the hours between three to five the most powerful of them all is 3 30 a.m and if you have been waking up at that time you are one of them you are one of them so you really want to take that time seriously and please take your ministry seriously so let me know in the comment if you have been waking up at 3 30 and what are the assignments that you get at this time and let me know how this has been if it's for a week or two or if it's been on for years because i just started mine about two weeks ago and i don't know how long this is gonna last but how long however it doesn't matter i am ready for it and let's go thank you so much if you haven't subscribed to the channel endeavor to hit the subscribe button if you like this video share it if you like this video give it a thumbs up so we can get recommended thank you so much See you in my next video. If you have a question, drop it. Follow my social handle. You can ask private questions there. See you. Bye.